Hi, I'm Rick and welcome back to another episode of Sweet Heat. And this episode is really amazing because we're gonna be making not just tacos al pastor, but shrimp tacos al pastor. One of the other things that I love doing is grilling. And I, one of the reasons that I love Mazatlan so much is that it's, it's never cold here. So I can grill all year long. And so now as you are about to go into grilling season, it's time to pull out that grill. I'm gonna show you how to clean those grates and we are going to grill some shrimp al pastor. The al pastor flavors uh, of achiote and chili guajillo and garlic, it's just so incredibly flavorful and delicious. But there's something about shrimp that's just so amazing, especially when you put it out on the grill like we're going to today, it's going to be so good. And of course, obviously you need onion and pineapple to go with it. And because it also, like any good taco, needs a salsa, we're gonna be making a salsa as well that is quite spicy. And as always, if you like me, if you like this dish, if you like this series, make sure you hit like and subscribe and you will be notified as soon as there's another Sweet Heat episode. Traditionally, al pastor is made with pork. And what you do is you make an achiote and wajillo, sometimes morita, sometimes chili de arbol, marinade. And the pork is really, really thinly sliced it's marinated, coated in the marinade, and then stacked up on a vertical spit called a trompo. Since we're doing shrimp, we're not gonna be stacking shrimp on any kind of a vertical spit. What we are gonna be doing is threading them onto skewers, which will make them easier to turn because shrimp goes very quickly, whether you're cooking it in a pan or whether you're cooking it on a grill. So we're gonna use the same kind of marinade uh, it'll have some orange juice, the achiote. Achiote is a really thick paste. It's actually this. It's this beautiful red color. And it not only adds an incredible amount of flavor, but it also makes everything bright red. I'm gonna add a little bit of guajillo chili and also some chili chipotle or chili morita, which are smoked dried jalapenos. And then since we're gonna be already at the grill, I'm gonna char some tomatoes and we're gonna make a little bit of a, a quick charred tomato salsa, really quick, really easy. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna do is prep the chilies for the al pastor marinade. So these are chili guajillo, and I am just going to open them up and take the seeds out. By contrast, however, on the moritas or the chipotles, because they're jalapenos, the seeds are less developed, they're softer, so I usually leave those in. All right, so now we are going to put these on the stove bring it to a boil. As soon as it's boiling, I'm gonna turn it off the heat and put a cover on it. And all I'm gonna do is let it sit for 30 minutes for the chilies to rehydrate. They're gonna get really nice and soft, absorb a lot of that water, and then I'll be able to blend it into a really smooth marinade. Doesn't get fresher than that. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so these chilies are beautifully plumped and soft and they're not quite as hot, so it's time to blend. So I'm just dumping everything in and I'm gonna add my achiote paste, sugar and salt, two garlic cloves and two whole cloves and my fresh orange juice. Start slow always and then we'll crank it up. Mm. Oh my God, it smells so good. And look how thick and rich it is. Okay, and we just pour that in. So ordinarily, if I was using a wooden skewer for let's say chicken or beef or something that's gonna require a little bit more time on the grill, I would say that you should soak them first. But because we're doing shrimp and it's literally going to be on the grill for about two minutes total, there's really no reason to do it. I mean, certainly if you want to soak them and you remember to do so, do it. If not, it's gonna be totally fine. So I'm gonna double skewer this because I feel like it's, gonna give you more stability. The thing with shrimp, if you 
only use one skewer, it's gonna spin and then you won't be able to control all of the shrimp. And I, the, the whole reason why I'm skewering is because I wanna be able to lay them down, cook one side and then flip all of them at once. So what you need to do is just go in one side of the shrimp, pull it down and then do the same thing on the other side. It doesn't matter how far apart it is. The main thing is you just need to skewer both sides and then you have a very stable shrimp. Okay, so I could do a number of things with these tortillas, but what I've decided to do, instead of grilling them, which probably is like the most logical, I'm gonna make crispy taco dorados, which I love. Um, it's a great way to take sort of old, maybe not the greatest tortillas in the world and give them new life. And so there's something also really nice about the crunch of a fried tortilla. So they're super easy. I've just got my tortillas right here. I've got about four cups of oil, 375. All you gotta do is just drop them in, let them come up. And then I like to just kind of push them down a little bit. Maybe you'll get one of the sides to inflate. And then just kind of push in the center, kind of make the little divot, and then you can just use the tongs and fold it over. And that's it. All right, so we're ready to start grilling. I'm super excited about this. So I've already cleaned off the grates uh, from the last time I cooked, which was yesterday. We are at about 600 degrees in there. So anything that was on the grill grates is gonna be burnt off at this point. And so you see, like my grates are pretty freaking clean. But as a little insurance policy, what I'm gonna do is I just have like, uh, a regular paper towel that I soaked in some of the oil that I used to fry the tortillas. And all I'm gonna do is just pass over the grates. And that oil is going to instantaneously burn away. This is the same principle that you would use to season a, a cast iron skillet. You just want to create a thin layer of oil and then let that burn off and then that carbon that's left will create a non-stick surface for you. What I'm gonna put down first are the tomatoes and the pineapple because that's what's gonna take the longest. So in my grill, this is the hottest part of the grill. It's uh, called the sear section just because I have three burners very close together. Everybody's on high right now because I just wanna get in there. I don't wanna cook the tomatoes and the pineapple through all the way. I just wanna get really good charring and really nice grill marks. And I'm going to put you there. Okay, and now we just wait. The other thing that I'm gonna need for this salsa is chili de arbol for heat, obviously, and garlic. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna fry those up in a little bit of olive oil. And because my grill has a burner off to the side, I don't need to go in the house. So I'm going to drop in the pan three tablespoons of olive oil two cloves of garlic, and I've got six chili de arbol. I'm gonna pull the stems off and then just throw those in. All I wanna do is pull out the flavors and the essential oils in both the garlic and the chili de arbol. So I'm gonna give them a light toast and the garlic will soften up a little bit and will really infuse the flavors in that oil. That's all I really wanna do. Now I'm going to pull off this really beautiful pineapple that is exactly what we are looking for. That's gonna be so incredibly delicious on these tacos. So I'm gonna throw in the tomatoes into the oil and it'll cool down the oil. I don't need to cook the tomatoes anymore. I just want to prevent the chilies and the garlic from burning. And also now some of the flavor from the tomatoes is gonna get into the oil. And then that can just sit and hang out until we are almost ready to serve and then we will blend that up. Okay, so I've got my amazing shrimp skewers. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to 
carefully with my hands, just lay them down. Boom. And boom. Remember that part where I said that I didn't soak my skewers? Well, here we go. It's been about two minutes total and these are done. Oh, that's what's so great about grilling shrimp or just cooking shrimp generally. It's very fast. Okay, so I've got all of my tomatoes and garlic and oil and chiles. Those just go in and get some salt because we want to taste it. All right, and I want this slightly chunky. I don't want it perfectly smooth, so I'm just going to start really slow. Okay, I'm going to give it a taste. Mm. Ooh, that's really good. Oh my God. Mm. Okay. I'm gonna give it a little more salt. So I'm gonna like just blend it again, just to mix the salt in. All right, and I believe, mm, it's so good. And that's it. I got a good salsa for our tacos. All right, I am so incredibly hungry. So I'm gonna speed through this. All I have to do is cut some pineapple. So I've got my little pineapple here. Oh, look at it. It's so beautiful looking. Oh, see that I love when pineapple gets like this. It's like, it's been warmed enough to just get really soft and I'm thinly slicing it so that it's just, it kind of melts in your mouth. Oh my God. Okay, I'm gonna have a piece so that I can make sure that it's really good. Oh my God, it's incredibly sweet. Mm. And I'm just gonna peel some shrimp off. So we got everything now. Also got very dirty hands, but that's fine. I'm putting the shrimp in there. Oh, get that big fat boy in there. Yes. I'm gonna get a little bit of onion. A little bit of cilantro, get a little bit of my pineapple. I'm just gonna tuck it in. Okay. This looks so incredibly good. And some amazingly delicious and really easy salsa. All right, I think I'm ready for this big bite. Mmm. <laughs> mm. There's so many incredible layers of flavor. You've got like the, the achiote and the char of the shrimp. The shrimp itself is like really nicely seasoned and a little bit sweet. You've got some sharp onion that kind of cuts through and then you get this really beautiful thin layer of sweet charred pineapple. Oh my God, I'm going back in. I'm gonna get another piece of pineapple because you know, I like sweet. <laughs> One of the um, casualties of a taco dorado is you run the risk of that happening, but I'm not upset at all. Mm. This is so delicious. And actually it's pretty incredibly easy. And if you don't have a grill, you can use a grill pan or you can just like saute the, the shrimp in the marinade. Throw these on the, in a skillet, pretend it's summertime, make some margaritas. And if you like the series, if you like this recipe, and if you like me, make sure you hit like and subscribe and you will be notified as soon as there is another Sweet Heat episode. And don't forget to tag us in your social when you make this dish. You've gotta make this dish. It's really delicious. Mm.